Welcome to Five Questions with Five Notable Women in South Florida's Construction Industry. This is a five-part series honoring Women in Construction Week 2021. My name is Deborah Hampton. I'm the Risk and Safety Director for Current Builders and the second Vice President of the South Florida Chapter of the Associated General Contractors of America. I will be the President of the South Florida AGC in 2024 to 2025. Women in Construction Week is all about highlighting women as a viable component of the construction industry. But more importantly, I hope it inspires other women to join this exciting industry. Today, we are honored to have one of those notable women with us today. Noelia Moreno is the Vice President of Decorini Cabinetry. She has an extremely impressive bio. So I'm going to touch on just a few of the highlights before we start asking this amazing woman how she managed to achieve the success that she has today. So Noelia has been in the kitchen cabinet business since 1993 after joining Moralmar Kitchen Cabinets. She oversaw all of their operations with a company that was over 200 employees. In 2017, she co-founded Decorini Cabinetry with Alexander Ferran that quickly grew to be one of the largest custom cabinet makers in all of South Florida. But Noelia also keeps busy giving back to the community. She is very busy with the Latin Builders Association, the Associated General Contractors, but she also has the prestige of being the first female president of the LBA from 2009 to 2011. That last part is especially my favorite considering that I'll be the, the first female president for the South Florida AGC chapter. So what advice would you give me, Noelia? Well, Debbie, I would say um, learn how to herd cats because you know how you know how boards are, but always follow your heart, and that's really the best you can do um, in business and in life. Just follow your heart and do what you feel is right. That's excellent advice. That's excellent, and and that comes from that heart. I, I can tell. And congrats, by the way. Oh, thank you, thank you. Well, congratulations thank on you. your success so far. Here has been amazing, and I I can't wait to see what the next ten years bring for you. Um, so I have to ask you, because women in construction is not something that most people put two and two together and come up with for. How did you start in construction? You know, it was kind of a, a fluke. Um, I'm an attorney and I was practicing law and a unique opportunity presented itself to join my family's business, which was Moral Mar Kitchens. And um, I decided to take advantage of that opportunity and it was then and there that I fell in love with the kitchen business and I fell in love with construction. That's fantastic. And the construction industry is happy to have you providing all of those wonderful custom cabinets for us, trust me. So I have a question for you because obviously you come quite a long way and just your accomplishments alone are, are so impressive. What are some of those challenges that you had to overcome to become the woman that you are today? You know, I think that one of the things that my father taught me, and it's it's a cornerstone to, to, to my philosophy in life, is, you know, gaining people's credibility and trust, you have to honor your word. And um, I, I like to feel that at Decorini, that our customers trust us, that they rely on us to be the experts and give them guidance. Um, you know, when, when doing their kitchens and bathrooms. So I think that that was one of the hardest challenges and especially having been a young woman, um, that was, you know, kind of a double challenge. That's, that's great. And I, I love that your father was a, sort of a mentor to you. Um, and you and I have talked about your mentoring, that you, you are an incredible mentor to so many women. Can you share with us a little bit about the mentoring that you do? Yes, well, right now, one of the things that, that um, that's important to me and important to Decorini is we have three female project managers. And um, it's we've created a, a, a vocation and a love for construction in these, in these young women. Uh, one of them actually wanted to be a police officer and she's fallen in love with construction and, and she now wants to just keep growing in the industry. And, uh, you know, we have an opportunity to mentor them every day, teach them how to deliver a beautiful kitchen, uh, teach them how to uh, be a problem solver, not a problem maker on, on projects. So I, I love that. It's great. It's great. 
that's that and you're you're such an inspiration i could sit here and list this woman's strongest assets but i'm going to let her talk a little bit about it but i know one thing she is not going to mention is her time management skills and she's very good at time management but share with us some of your other assets to, that have helped you achieve the level of success that you have you know and it's funny let me touch on time management we're the creators of time <laughs> that's true <laughs> we're the creators of time but i have to tell you that i think that one of my strong suits is that i'm very detail oriented and I um, like to dot my I's, cross my T's, uh, set a level of expectation so that everybody knows um, and we're clear. And that ultimately, you know, helps projects move forward in that vein with moving a project forward is, you know, it's important to focus on what, um, how can you solve a problem uh, with a big picture attitude instead of pointing fingers, because that really doesn't get you anywhere. I, I like that attitude so much because you're so solution oriented. And, and, and obviously that brings forth a, but a much better result yes. in a quicker time frame. Uh, do you feel in the time that you've been in the construction industry that there are more opportunities opening up for women? I believe that I'm totally, I mean, before you would most of the of the women were generally in office roles. And now you see a lot more women out in the field, either as project engineers, project managers, a lot of architects, um, as well as superintendents. And it's great to see how, how women have really, really uh, become involved in construction. That's great. Um, I know I only I promised only five questions, but I do have to ask one more question okay. because you're such an inspiration to so many women. So for young women that want to get into the construction market today, what advice would you give them? Well, it depends on whether they're choosing a career path or a college oriented path. Obviously, if you're going to college, I would recommend, you know, uh, construction management as your degree. Um, it's it's a difficult degree. It's there's, you know, uh, it's not easy. Um, and if you're going in a career path, you know, take a job, start, if you can't start with a general contractor, start with one of the subcontractors, get your feet wet, learn a trade, learn, learn about it and, you know, work hard. Um, and hard work is, is rewarded, you know, show up um, and, um, you know, just start, start anywhere that you can. Thank you for making that distinction. Many people don't realize that there's so many opportunities in construction that you can pretty much pick any path that you want. And like you said, you can start in the field or you can basically go to college and, and you know, go for project management or engineering. There are just so many opportunities out there. There are. And, yeah. and good paying opportunities as well. Absolutely. So um, I know your, your time is extremely valuable and I can't thank you enough. It's been such an honor having you here today. Um, thank you for joining us and helping us celebrate Women in Construction Week. Thank you, Debbie, and thank you to the AGC. Thank you.